All right, welcome back. Good to have you here. So how do you price your products? How do you determine, okay, you might be in the product research phase right now and you might be wondering, well, hey, how do I decide which products to jump on, the cheap ones or the expensive ones, all right? So I'm on Amazon right here. Let me just walk you through, right? This, uh, here's, here's a wall-mounted steel shelf. No, it's not a prison bed for, you know, the, the jailer. It's actually a wall-mounted uh, shelf, right? Selling for 210 bucks, right? That's pretty expensive. It's a pretty reasonably expensive product, right? Then below it, you've got something for 16 bucks. And let me tell you the process to getting something on Amazon, right? You need to find the product, write the headline, write the descriptions, write the bullet points, get the images. You've got to put it all on Amazon, right? There's effort, it, it takes effort to actually put something on Amazon. It takes a lot of effort, right? Now, let me tell you, it's the exact same effort it takes to list something for 16 bucks okay as opposed to 210 dollars right it's exactly the same effort all right you're still going to find the images you're still going to write the copy you're still going to stock it in the warehouse right in on the amazon warehouse you're still going to create a shipment plan you're still going to do the barcoding right which we show you how to go about doing all that stuff anyway but it's the exact same effort to selling something that sells for 16 bucks for 15 bucks 99 to 210 dollars 99 now let me ask you a question how much money do you think would you be making more money on the 15 buck product or would you be making more money on the 210 dollar product right it's a good chance you'd be making more money on the 210 dollar product so that's why i'm a big advocate of not i repeat not selling products for less than usually 20 bucks all right if you're selling a pack of headbands or elastic bands for five bucks 99 you're not really going to be wildly successful in in, in basically quitting your job or starting a, a proper side hustle right it's not going to really make a substantial return for you for it to really be worthwhile so that's why you want to jump on more expensive products the price range that you focus on is from thirty dollars to a hundred dollars that's the bracket thirty bucks to a hundred bucks that should be the price range that you focus on initially for your first product. Now you could jump on $150 products for your second product, $200 products, $500 products, right? I've seen products for $1,000, right? There's a lot of products out there, but for your first one, 30 bucks to $100, all right? Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you wanna find out more information, check out our links below or give us a call in the office. We are running live events around Australia. We've got one in Sydney next weekend. We've got one on the Gold Coast in two weeks. I would love to see you at the Gold Coast workshop. It's a two-day workshop. You bring your laptops, we find products in the room, we find supplies in the room, and we also can list products in the room as well. Have a great day. Bye-bye for now.